Hi, Hi Floss Tube. I'm Nancy. And I'm Laura. And we are the, the Addicted, Addicted Sisters. Sister. That is a picture of our three brothers in 1952 at Christmas time. I bet you can't guess what they got for Christmas. <laughs> Those are some fancy bathrobes and all of their holsters. Yep. Yeah. Chuck looks like the only one with the hat. I wonder if the other two wouldn't wear them or what. But <laughs> Probably. Pretty cute. Anyway. <clears throat> those it's are our boys. three big brothers. <laughs> so, anyway, today is Sunday, January 20th, 2019. This is Floss Tube number 47. We want to welcome you to our Floss Tube. And Nancy and I are both in red because the Chiefs are playing today. <laughs> this evening. They're playing this evening. It's an exciting so, time here in Kansas City. I had to tell Nancy that she was wearing the other team's colors. Yeah. And she had to go change. I'm not a sports fan. <laughs> I am. However, my husband is delivering pizza tonight. So I will be recording it and I will be sewing during the game. And then when he gets home, we will be watching it. So we will fast forward through all those commercials. <laughs> so, and we're just, um, I think we're just two weeks out from the Super Bowl because it's the first Sunday in February. Wow. So. So if they win today, they're going. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. But this is a hard one today. Oh, boy. <laughs> this no, is, I'm happy for him. And it, and it's been since the 70s that we Yeah, it's been a long time. So, a long time. Yep. Thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. We appreciate all your comments and suggestions on our um, page. And hope you keep hope you keep joining, subscribe. <laughs> and uh, let us know what you think. Nancy and I are kind of a little low energy today. We're both still fighting the yuck. Mm. And um, I found a really great nasal spray, so I sound a little better, although I can hear it yeah. sounding nasally. But um, at least I can breathe. That's the big relief. Nancy's kind of... like sniffly. Yeah. But I also was crazy and was up too late last night. And that's okay. Um, the other thing, I love tennis. So right now the Australian Open is going on, and I'm getting to watch that. I'm thinking that Felicity or her parents may have been to the matches by now. She said that they kind of go every year. Cool. I must have hair on my shoulder because Nancy keeps looking no, at I my shoulder. No, I was looking at your lace. <laughs> <laughs> on my lace. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I, I just would bet that Felicity or her parents or both of them have been out there at the matches. It looks like a great time, and there are lots of... You can buy a pass, they said, for like $40 just to get on the grounds. And there are all sorts wow. of... Yeah, but there are all sorts of big screens so that you can watch the matches outside. Gotcha. And there's like a festival that goes on during the tournament, so... Um, there are live bands cool. and dancing and just all huh. sorts of fun. So it's a big party. That's really unique. Mm -hmm. It is. And they talked about that it's unique um, of the Grand Slams that they have it like that. And it's okay. a huge draw. So anyway, they have worked very hard to keep it in that city. And so they have made it an event center where it's not just the two weeks of the the Grand the Slam. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not just the two weeks. They have stuff going on year round. That's good. To keep the draw up. So. That's smart. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful, beautiful. So. And where? In, um, in Australia, in <laughs> Melbourne. It's okay. in Melbourne. So anyway. It's, I just it's figured I had heard you say it, you know. <laughs> and the cool thing is that right now um, it's like the veteran players and the newbies who are still in it. And they're down to uh, the quarterfinals. Wow. So, I mean, it's it's really funny because they it, it's been a veteran and a newbie playing each other. Wow. And it's been really interesting. It's I mean, it's exciting because there are some up-and-coming players yeah. that you don't get to see. And um, we had an American who did... <laughs> Just amazing, and managed to pull it through, and he's made it to the quarterfinals, and we'll get to see him in the quarters. Cool. So I'm just thinking how intimidating that would be oh. as a new person walk out against 
a legend. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, and <laughs> I uh, I was up for part of the Roger Federer match last night, which started at 3 a.m. Um, but um, Roger just turned, I, I can't remember if he's 37 or 38, which is old for a tennis player, for an active tennis player. Um, but okay. he and Serena Williams are the same age, joined the tour at the same time. Okay. And the kid that he was playing, um, I want to say, is 20. Oh, my. Because they said that Roger was 17 and playing in one of his early matches when this kid was born. Oh, my. Oh so, gosh. I mean, it, it's kind of exciting. And the guy is from Greece. And so the Greek contingent out there is really fun. And they're excited that they hit. His name is Tsitsipas. Cool name. So, and you know, is Sitsi his first name? No, Sitsi Boss is his last name. Okay, I can't think of his first name, but um, anyway, okay. it was exciting. And I'll have to go home and watch the replay to find out what happened because <laughs> I only know about the first set, and then yeah. I'm like, it's out. four in the morning, I gotta go to bed. Wow, I so, can't believe you did that. I just I can't stand it. <laughs> So, uh, the other thing I was going to show you is I told you we were going to have Pink Week. I don't know if I... Couldn't be for Valentine's or anything mm -hmm. like that, could it? Well, maybe. So, I brought just a couple of them to show you. Um, and one of them, I may be being mean. We may be sold out of it. Oh, but that's gorgeous. this one, we're calling French Kiss. We just think this one is fun. And somewhere around here, oh, here... It says love. Now, the crazy thing about this, do you see there is one upright Eiffel Tower on that side and yeah. one on, and even it's leaning. But, you know, we thought that Jeff had cut the fabric wrong at first because yeah. <laughs> it made more sense to go the other way. But he didn't. And inside we have these big kisses. Cute. So, French kiss. <laughs> and it is a snuggle. It's a flannel one, so it's real soft. It's really cute. Then this one is a stunner. It's my favorite. This is mine. Mm -hmm. I kept this one. Nancy's dying. Mm -hmm. This one is called the butterfly effect. That's beautiful. And I love this. It's got these big orangey butterflies in with all of these pretty pinks. I mean, is that just wow. And inside we have this fat brick, which has... Um, little butterflies on it but it's yeah, and it's ombre you can kind of tell oh, that yeah. um but you know it reminds me of wallpaper cute yeah but wow and i don't even know that we could get any more beautiful i didn't bring the other one that we sold out of we katie ordered one well, in that's good because yeah. you really shouldn't be teasing them <laughs> katie ordered one in last minute and I whipped the thing up on Friday so that we could do it. I was not, I was turned like this way. <laughs> but I whipped the thing out when I got home from school Friday. And we've sold all but one of it. Oh my goodness. So. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We have another one that I could have brought in the flannel that's called Stained Glass. Mm. And it's really, really pretty. It's got pinks and blues and um, it's like a floral. And we decided that it would go with Pink Week because everybody, everybody needs a bouquet. <laughs> so, but we did go shopping yesterday too. Oh my God. We were looking for. I slept all day. <laughs> we were looking for about four fabrics, I think. And we came home with a whole stack of new wow. stuff to go in. Of course you did. <laughs> so I sewed. It's so hard to say no. I sewed all morning. And I sewed, I, we didn't buy any cottons. We bought all flannels. All flannels. Well, that flannel was on sale real well. So yeah. Really and, good deals. Yeah. Well, and it's that season. So. Yeah. It's chilly. But anyway, that's what we were doing. Um, your comments this last week. You were excited like I was about finding Lady of the Flag. That was so great. Oh, it was I amazing. I believe it. I went home and... Uh, during the week, Katie said, Mom, has anybody commented about Lady of the Flag? And I'm like, oh my gosh, what? yeah. Yes. I mean, they're really excited. So again, uh, my daughter found Lady of the Flag. Well, I found 
Lady of the Flag in my daughter's stash. And Nancy and I are going to use it at our retreat in July, and it will be what we use for a donation. Mm -hmm. So um, you'll be able, raffles. yeah, you'll be able to buy tickets and put them in where you want them to go. And so very cool. Yeah, it's a great piece, and and like we showed you last week, seal's not even broken, so it's not even been taken out of the package mm -mm. and looked at yet. Mm -mm. It's pristine. <laughs> And we may have a little surprise to add with it, but we'll have to see how that happens and oh. what comes about. We talked about that. You just don't remember. I just don't remember. So, <laughs> that's normal. <laughs> we did want to start kind of a fun thing to interact with you, and we're going to ask yeah. you a question every week. Yeah. So, this week, we want to ask you, what's your unicorn? What is it that you're looking for that you can't find anywhere? <laughs> or just what is it that you're waiting to get because maybe it's a big one or, mm, you know, okay. you just you just have to make a plan to get it. Yeah. So, okay, I got to clean my glasses. They're like <laughs> making me crazy. I thought I, I could that. do it, but I can't. <laughs> I hate that. You get one little smudge, and, and it's always right in front of your eyeball. Yeah. You know, like, and it can't I just, be down here at the bottom. I can't do it. <laughs> okay, that's better. And now I've touched mine, and I have a spot on mine. <laughs> Time to clean yours. Oh, well. So, um, anyway, what's your unicorn? What is it that you're looking for? Is it a pattern? Is it some fabric? Is it some, um, you know, is there a pair of scissors you were dying to get oh, and never got? Yeah. Is there something? Really great flosses or something? Yeah, or needle minders yeah. or, you know, what? Sky's the limit. Just let us know. Yeah, we want to know what in the world. I don't know that we can get it for you. <laughs> and and if you so guys talk about it. and if you guys can share links and things, then we'll yeah, uh, put them out cool. there. Um, I have had a couple of people contact me about patterns that I've shown, and they've told me that they're their unicorns. And I don't know if I've answered yet, but okay. um, once I dig those out again, yes, I'll be willing to to, to share. Well, they're going to go on tour. Yeah, I there are things that I don't know I'm ready to give up. But I would be okay if they went visiting. I'm like that with some of mine. I mean, some of them I don't really care. I've stitched them, mm -hmm. and I probably will never stitch it again. Mm -hmm. So I'd love to have it go to some nice family. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, like we talked about the Blackbird Quaker Quaker, Quaker Gardens. Gardens. Oh, um, and that's one that. that I may use again and again. Mine is visiting right now with somebody else. You know, it's got so many little motifs yes. in it that you could do a ton of things with that. So, yeah. yeah. So, That'd anyway. It's hard to give away. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um, okay. So, next up is a finish. I don't have any. I do. Okay, so you know, I was working on Twas the Night by Sue Hillis. <clears throat> and, I'm sorry, sniffing my nose. <laughs> That's just going to be a fact today. Ta-da! I'm done. So, I can't see what we're doing. Yep, we're, there we go. There we go. Raised her up. And there's the bottom. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I ran out of floss. Yeah. Completely. I mean, I did not, I didn't have any of the berries vining around. None of the vining. Wow. So, what did you substitute? I, some DMC for all of the vines. Every single one. Well, that used, works. You don't see it very much. I used three different colors in there thinking that it would make it look more variegated like this other side. Mm -hmm. So, I'm done! <laughs> Yay! I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. And then this one is going to be a wall hanging. So I'm going to have to find a really cool hanger for it mm -hmm. and pat it up and make it ready for next Christmas. Two years. Cool. That's cool. <laughs> Woohoo! And is that your first finish of the year? Did we decide that? Yeah, I think it is my first one because the last one I finished was um, Eleanor J. Yeagler. 
and I finished that on my birthday sale. So, so you finished it before, right before the first, okay? Because we filmed on the first, so and it was done, yes, okay. <clears throat> so, a good way to done. tell. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, and then next up is Nancy oh. got something new this week, I not did. me. I um, saw this finished up. I could have brought you the stack of fabric that we got. <laughs> we did get a um, a piece of fabric that um, when they when we were rolling the bolt oh, out. Oh, she gave me two of these. Oh, <laughs> when we were rolling the bolt out, uh -huh. um, there was a little piece on there. Uh, little, it was about two thirds of a yard. Oh my but, god! But um, yeah. anyway, I just loved it, and I thought. I would get it because I knew exactly what it would go with. So probably in the next week or two, I will be fully finishing a project. So I got Blackberry Lane Designs at home for Christmas. Designer is Marie Driscoll. So I saw this on Facebook and she mm -hmm. had it done up a little differently than this is. And I just fell in love with that little mousy. Isn't he so cute? He just you like cute. your mice for Christmas. I do. But the pattern, it's like I can't even define, find the definition between the pieces. It's solid. So it's going to be a work. But I got two instruction sheets, so maybe that'll help. <laughs> Double the instruction. <laughs> So that was my that was my stash, and it did come with a little hanger here. That's cute. Yeah, to hang on my Christmas tree. It reminded me of those things that we did uh -huh. that time. <laughs> the S hooks. Yeah. Yep. I don't know if she calls them S hooks or shooks. I think they were shooks. I I just, I just can never. I thought it was funny because that's where I worked. Yeah, I just I can never decide what she calls them, but anyway. Okay. Okay, so remember, Nancy talked about her birthday, Sal. You are welcome to post pictures on Instagram at um, hashtag Nancy's B Day Sal. We started projects um, on December 24th. If you started something around there, you can cheat and say that it was for Nancy's birthday. Oh, sure. And post your pictures because we want to see them. Oh, sure. I and then uh, mm -hmm. the other one is hashtag Cinnamon Stars Sal. And we love to see things there, too, um, just because um, we're, everybody's starting that. I yeah. haven't started mine, have you? I haven't started mine because I don't have all the stuff. I, I need to get the whole list of um, flosses and things. I don't have anything. I don't know that I'm using all of the overdies because... There are some that you just don't really need. I also wrote down, you can always use hashtag the addicted sisters because we look at that too and we love to see your stuff. Yes, we do. So Yes, we do. There were some great things. I don't, I haven't, I've been bad about checking that. I got to tell you that. But let's I've look and see. I've been kind of off this week and haven't done much of anything. Oh, I think I'm on the wrong one. Yeah. Let's get off the business and get on. The personal, and then I'll see things. Hashtag. Uh, Cinnamon. Is that the one we want to look at? I thought it was. Gosh, I hate this. Why doesn't it bring it up? Cinnamon Stars Sal. Yeah, I don't think there have been any new ones added I don't know because that. the most recent one is Gina's Beautiful Finish. Yeah. Um, but get your pictures in there, people, because look how pretty that looks. You can see all the different parts mm -hmm. where they were going. And we want to do that. And Nancy's has had some fun stuff in it. That rumble is laundry. Don't get worried. <laughs> I wondered what was going on here. 36 posts. Ooh. Have you seen all those? I don't think so. I think this was the last one I saw. So there are like some this. really cool projects going on in there, too. We always love to see all that. 
I need to put my finish in there. I hadn't even done that. Well, yeah, you got to get that in there. Silly me. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Yep. <laughs> this is why I hardly got any stitching done tonight. No room for me in the chair. Every time I got back up, the chair filled up with cats. Oh, my gosh. So this is from Teresa Vanette, Kitten Stitcher. Look at that picture. <laughs> that is adorable. That's too funny. And you guys know she has floss tube, and you should go watch her because yeah. she has a wealth of information going on. Yes. Uh, my daughter sent me cute pictures um, this morning, and it was a video yeah. of her cat playing and being silly. Playing catch. So, anyway, um, that's where we are on that. You know what I didn't write in here? What we're going to work yeah. on. <laughs> okay, current projects and plans. Yeah, you can go ahead. You haven't done much. I was going to write this in. So, well, yeah, I haven't done much. Wasn't that nice of her? <laughs> I'm going to get started on antique scissors. Ooh, love this one. It's cool. I've got the floss. I've got the fabric. When did you finish the other one? yesterday oh okay and then you were just done for the day yeah I mean I just put those last few stitches in and then um, you know oh, I got yeah. this pretty um, lace from Robin so that's gonna look real pretty on here I don't know if it will even show right but look how pretty that's gonna be so that is my plan and then I have my small in here that I'm going to work on it too. Cool. I've got to get mine going. I can't. I know what I want to do, but I really got to get it going. No, Phyllis, I'm not showing it. She doesn't even show me. <laughs> here, I'll show you. There you go. <laughs> that was mean. <laughs> um, so, oh, we? so, my week has kind of been determined by this group school of magical stitches and literature and you can tell from the banners up there it's a harry potter group and so we're reading the harry potter books again and we are stitching and how many every times have you read those books um a lot but i haven't read them for a while <laughs> Um, I haven't read them for a while, so... Okay. They do you know. feel like new friends when you go back to they them. They do, and, you know, we watch the movies periodically, and it's... The books are so different from the movies. What I think is so funny is to see one of the new... The older ones, you know, like the ones from the very beginning, and Harry is so little. He's so <laughs> tiny, yeah. He's such a baby. So, uh, part of my homework this week... Uh, they gave us different things to do, like, I, I would have to even go in and look at my post. But one was something to do with the dark, something to do with the light, something to do, something that flies. And so this fit those things. Girl. This is um, Blue Moon Angel by Lavender and Lace. And I have this really cool fabric that is from Silk Weaver, and it's a solo and this will look like crazy, craziness. Yeah. Look at that. But I have to tell you that I have over 500 stitches in there now. Jeez Louise. And it just doesn't look like anything. And that's the right way up. So the pink is the ribboning. And um, the center is kind of right below her arm. That's about the center. So, you know, I'm getting some of that ribbon and stuff in. But it's nice to have a start on it. Yeah. And um, they we were, were we were at Panera stitching on Thursday, and we had some really cute little girls come over. Oh yeah! And did you ever figure out what she was talking about? She thought Laura was stitching a cat. Well, I kind of thought maybe she saw this blue part and thought it was whiskers. Oh, off the side of the face, and this was going to be the face. So okay, and the I don't ear. know if the whiskers are here, then the face would be. Well, it could be that side. <laughs> I don't know. It it's just all was, perception. It was really interesting, and but the ladies were getting a good chuckle out of me because I had to track my stitches. Um, I had to hit 200 stitches, and I stitched a little more than this, but this is what I did. I just did a group, and then I wrote it down, and then I did a group, and then I added. And yeah. 
So it was an easy way to track and it didn't take me very long. And, um, you know, then I stitched a little more. So mm -hmm. that's one thing I worked on. Then um, we were doing a charms and potions class. So I can't remember the names of the charms and potions uh, other than there was a forgetful potion and we were or forgetful charm either way. And um, <laughs> they were saying to stitch a block of color. And of course, you guys know I've been working on Carrot Talk by the Work Basket, which is, of course, all one color. And um, I used it for three different things. Oh, something that grows. Well, carrots and carrots bunnies, bunnies grow. Yeah. And um, I can't think what the other one was. But there were three things in there as well. So here's why I was up until almost 4 a.m. this morning. Oh, my gosh. I have a mini finish, okay? I finished one of the bunnies. Yeah, you got a third done. Look at that. He it's really a little over a third because the center is the carrot. Right, with the head. So I was just counting a third because he's one of three bunnies. <laughs> and then I did the very bottom of the carrot, and oh, that's where I, I started. He is so cute. That's where I stopped at 3.30 when the first set ended. So cute. I'll go do that carrot from the... I like to work from the bottom up. You guys often will ask how we stitch. I stitch in hand, so like I have a curled edge over here, and you see my clip, so I roll this all the way in to where I'm stitching. That was a great tip to use those. Yeah, <clears throat> and then I just clip the thing up there because now it's held, and I don't have to worry about it. I can still unroll it a little if I need to without moving, or I can move it over a little, but when I store this, then I just clip it to the top and leave it. So. Very cool. That's it. And this is um, Prank Linen from Picture This Plus. I think I'm doing this on 28 count. I'd have to. Yep. 28 count cashel. But, you know, they used a little more pinky orange for mm -hmm. theirs. And I like that. But I really like the, the bright, bright orange, yeah. the carrot orange for sure. So those are my two that I worked on this week. And okay. I mean, like that was a lot to get done because oh, that yeah. That's is a lot solid. of stitches. So and what I did was I outlined and um, then I filled in. So I think that's smart because then you don't have to worry about counting. You can just stitch. Yep. And just go. Back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I was so excited. I was pushing myself to get to the eye mm -hmm. last night because I started, um, I started like right below his nose and I did the whole head and both ears last night. So I got a lot done, mm -hmm. but I didn't start sewing until almost midnight. Oh my God. I sewed at my sewing machine until a little after 11, and yeah, it was it was a long time. And I ate dinner at about 11.30. Oh, lordy. <laughs> it was a long night. I couldn't do that. That's okay. You know, it was, yeah, that was okay. But anyway, um, we wanted to talk to you a little bit about our retreat. Oh, do you, so your plans are to work on that this yeah. week. Yeah, yeah. Okay, my plans are to do whatever the group tells me to do. I gotta look at what my homework is and figure it out. I have not pulled out my um, Paradigm Lost, my long dog. That's a long, yeah. And there should be, like I could have used that this week because there's a phoenix and a griffin on there. Mm. And you know, there are all sorts of animals and things yeah. on there. Yeah. So I really could have used it. So I'll have to look at this week's homework a little more closely and see if I can pull it out because I had wanted to kind of focus on it in January and instead of focused on my bunny, mm -hmm. which is really that's solid. A, so okay. yeah, I'm very, always very flexible. That's why I have so many projects going. I may sneeze here in a minute and when I'm sneezing lately, it's three, four, five in a row. So <laughs> don't oh, get scared. <laughs> I did also have a, um, 19th of the month new start, but I forgot to bring it. 
Oh. So I'm not even going to talk about it, and I'm going to tell you next week. Okay. So you'll that have to works. look at it. Um, so that is it for the regular floss tube. However, we want to talk a little about the retreat. Um, we've had a lot of response, and we've had a lot of response lately. Yeah. About the retreat, it's which been is really kind of great. Fun. Yeah. So yeah, I get these texts during the day. We got another one. We got another one. <laughs> and I'm yelling over the wall. Wow, we got another one. We got another one. <laughs> <laughs> it's exciting for us. Um, we want to meet all of yes. you guys. Um, and there are still some openings. Yeah. We've got, I mean, we're at a pretty good number. Yeah. Yeah. I'm happy with where we're at. We can mm -hmm. always have more friends come. Mm -hmm. We're not going to have a huge, huge retreat. No. We're capping this at a hundred. Yeah. So, um, and a hundred give or take. Yeah. Because I, I, we were talking about how many people would be at a table and, um, Obviously, if the tables hold six, that's not going to divide evenly. Right. So that would be about 17 tables. Oh, I'm thinking 16 people at a table, and I'm like, no, my, we can't do that. Six people <laughs> at a table would mean we would need 17 tables, and there would be, well, let's see. So clear, that would be room for 102. 102. If it's eight people at a table, we would need 12 and a half tables. So we would need 13 tables. And if we did that, that would be room for 104 stitchers. So, you know, we can yeah. be a little over and that's okay. We, uh, they would probably both fit the same way in the room. Yeah. You know, but it would be nicer if they were eight tops. I just, yeah, I like the idea of of that number just because it'll be fewer tables so a little more well, I mean I know they're bigger but yeah you know we just don't have to you would it. hope that there would be more room to wander around and mm -hmm. meet each other and check each other out but. so um, we do need to let you know that um, when you're making your when you're paying your retreat fee with us you pay that first then we give you the information to make your reservations um, Nancy checked the contract right before we started, and May 10th is the cutoff date for room reservations. Yeah. After that time, you may not get the uh, conference rate, and you may not be in our block. So those are two big things, because we got a really good rate, mm -hmm. and you know we had the option... Um, same rate before and after the retreat. Mm -hmm. so. so you can come at two or three days, I think they said before, yeah, and each stay end. two or three after. And still get the conference rate. Mm -hmm. But after May 10th, it's kind of whatever Up in the you air. get. Yeah, <laughs> because they can only hold them so long. Right, and you may end up, you know, our block could be here, and you might end up another floor, another part of the, the hotel. So mm -hmm. we'd all like to kind of be together. Um, we've been adding our day stitchers, and I don't know that you heard the other night, but um, Kristen said that she, the two of them, yeah. uh, may come as day stitchers. Oh, nice. So that'll nice. be exciting. Some local people that we stitch with are Good. talking about coming. That's kind of fun. Um, the retreat, in case you don't know this, we're just going to do some basics. So the retreat is July 11th through 14th. 2019 it's here it'll be in independence missouri blue springs missouri yeah. at the drury inn and that's a lovely facility and the drury inn offers um free breakfast for anyone staying there yes and they also and it's it's like a real breakfast it's not just a continental breakfast right so they I do a they made do to order and everything yeah so um and then they also have what they call i want to say it's called kickback Kickback, yes. I kept thinking bar bites, and I knew that wasn't right. <laughs> Same idea. Yeah. So in the evening, they'll do, they call it hors d'oeuvres. I've heard that it's enough to be a light dinner. Yeah, heavy um, hors d'oeuvres. So like nachos or tacos one night, and I think burgers one night. and Yeah, like sliders. And then, didn't they say they had like some sort of Italian meal too? Yeah, I think so. And they have... Um, I think they have a salad bar set up yes. every night yes. so that you would be able to do that. I'm a gluten-free girl, so I will be checking out what they have available. Right. And they said, absolutely, they could accommodate that. You would want to talk to them um, 
maybe you want to talk to them closer to the date and let them know what your dietary restrictions right. are so that if you can... If you're vegan, vegetarian, mm -hmm. whatever, so that they know. And... and I think that they were telling us that they would accommodate that. Yeah. So They're a great bunch out there. Yeah. Can't wait to see them again. Um, we wanted to tell you that check-in is at 3 p.m. on any given day. If the rooms are available, they'll get they'll go ahead and get you in. Right. But their time is 3 p.m. and check out is 11 a.m. Now, we are doing July 11th through 14th. We have the room for more of the day, but I don't even think Nancy's coming till Thursday. I am probably going to be there on Wednesday. So, which we don't have the room for Wednesday. Right. Right. So, um, just to be clear. Yeah. But on um, Thursday, we're hoping to get started by about 11 a.m. That's when Nancy and I would be sitting outside the door, ready to give you a hug <laughs> and get you in there. Smack and, that name tag on you. <laughs> so um, if, you, if you are coming in that day, then you can make your plans accordingly. We don't think we'll... I mean, we may be able to get the room set up the day before. Possibly, yeah. Depends on if there was a group there, you mm -hmm. know, prior to us, when we can have it available. But we're hoping to have the room ready to go by about 11. I'm bringing my daughter along, and <laughs> and I, she's a good workhorse, so we'll be we'll be putting that stuff up. Um, the and Sunday, you so if you get there, okay. I should have finished one thought. Mm. <laughs> So if you get there on Thursday and your room's not available, you'll be able to come in and stitch. You just need to, you you know, you'll Camp park your stuff. You'll just yeah. park your bags at the side. Yeah. And when you can go up, then you'll take your stuff with you. Right. Um, and on Sunday, you'll have to check out of your room by 11 a.m. Um, if there's not anybody in our big room, we didn't book the room for Sunday. If there's not anybody in the room on Sunday, they said we could use it for a little while in the morning. Right. So we will um, hopefully be able to, you know, get bags out and then still be in the room and have a little bit of time together yeah. before we end. We're planning to end at about noon. Yes. So. Yes. Nice. And we are excited yes. to meet you guys. We've been coming up with some fun ideas. Um, yeah. Reminder is our theme. And that is summer vacation. Mm -hmm. So, where do you like to go for vacation? Right. Whatever you do in the summer for fun. What is that? Nancy and I like to cruise. Yeah, I haven't done <laughs> that for a long time. Yeah, because I think we went in, I want to say that was like 2011, or is it later than that? Well, I started Shook in 2010, and wasn't that the year we went on the cruise from hell? Probably. And then, so we went one right after that, so probably 2011, with your family, your whole family. Mm -hmm. right? So 2011, so it's been seven years. We are and, planning a stitching cruise in yeah. a few years. Yeah, but it'd be nice to get another cruise. Yes, there. we just got to have the funds to do it. <laughs> so the other thing we're doing, I got a loose string. Yes, if you only do. somebody had scissors. Um, so the other thing we're doing is a smalls exchange. We would love for you to make it um, summer vacation themed. However you make that... Uh, Get my little birds out. <laughs> however you make Whoops. that work with the theme is fine with us. And we're just saying smalls um, because remember some people will be traveling by airplane. Right. And we want to make sure that they can get it home safely. Uh, speaking of airplanes, we will have some people who are willing to come pick you up from the airport. Because the airport is quite a ways away. Yes. It'll probably take, what, 40, 30, 45 minutes? 45 minutes, I think. Because so. it takes us about 30 minutes or so to get to CeCe's from here. Yeah. And about. it's about another 15 on from there. Yeah. So. so you're way off. Yeah. <laughs> now, we think Thursday everybody's going to need to decompress. So we're going to tell you one thing we're going to do. Yeah. we're Okay, first off, we're very good about keeping our secrets. Yes, we love secrets. Because we want it to be a surprise for you and for you to have as much fun doing it as we have had planning it. Mm -hmm. So to let something out of the bag this early, 
This is real unusual. <laughs> but we want you to be able to think and kind of plan yeah. and whatever you need to do. So Thursday night, we're going to do a PJ party. <laughs> however you relax, however you pajama. <laughs> well, make sure that's clothes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have a sister-in-law who doesn't. <laughs> so we do require clothing. <laughs> the hotel requires yes. clothing. <laughs> I don't think you could walk through the lobby that way. <laughs> uh, so, oh, we are off on a now. tangent. Yeah. But anyway, so come Ooh. down, have fun, stitch in your PJs. You'll be all PJs, ready to go. PJs, your sweats. What do they call them? I wear loungers. Pants. Loungers. Yeah. yeah. I Whatever. Have, I have PJ pants that I wear with yeah. like a t-shirt or something. And Don't feel you like know. you have to dress up. Just be no. comfy. Now, if you're coming in your uh, Penois set, then Woo. more power to you. <laughs> it is summertime, so it is going to be warm. Yeah. But, but I bet it'll be chilly in that room. I don't yeah. know. Think about anyway. that, too. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be fun. Whatever you want to do. You know, sleep oh, cap, God. whatever you do. <laughs> Rollers. I don't do that, mm -hmm. obviously. I mean, look at the curl in the hair, right? I pull it out. I straighten it. So that just is a little fun that we're going to do. We may yeah. come up with some other themed um themed events yes. for our summer vacation theme to do some fun stuff. Um, one thing you should know is that the hotel has a pool yes. that you will have access to, so feel free to bring your suit. I'm going to try and make my daughter bring hers and drag her to the pool because I'd love to get in the pool. <laughs> I don't look pretty in a swimsuit. I uh, know, me neither. But... I love to go get in and get comfortable, and I wonder if they have a um, if they have a uh, hot tub too. Oh, wouldn't that be fabulous? Yeah. So. Oh, I want to put one of those out back, but that would be nice. So I think that's about all we have about the retreat for this week. We're hoping to do a field trip here soon, and we'll have a little more information. Yeah. To pass on to you. We're going to try and investigate all the rooms. Yeah. So, We've got until some time. Yeah. Until then, she's Nancy. She's Laura. And we are the, the Addicted, Addicted Sisters. Sisters. Have a great week. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>